hello everyone welcome back to my channel so i had my baby three weeks ago today and i'm feeling great and i am gonna be keeping up to date on how i've been feeling what i'm doing everything like that so please subscribe if you like videos like that so she's just asleep at the moment i don't know how long i've got it's like a ticking time bomb whenever she'll wake up but she's usually quite good in the day i'm being quite lucky so i'm going to start recording in the day again i've basically got a year off work so i'm going to really put my all into this channel and i'm going to do other things as well she needs to come to me because right now i've got baby brain still um but i literally just got a delivery of this got all nappies in there it's like a tear i've literally ruined it he didn't come with a note or anything so if he sent me it thank you and let me know um because yeah i don't know who bought it and i went on the website and it's a really thoughtful gift and i'm thinking of contacting them because just to ask like who sent me it so i can thank them and some other deliveries came makeup oh my god I know it's only been three weeks. I still want to make effort with my appearance. At my weight loss so far, like it's been three weeks. I don't want to show off or anything. But so far, I, I was, I'm so surprised. Next week will be four weeks and I'm going to do a video on how I believe I've lost this weight this quickly. Sorry, I've got deodorant marks. Mum life. <laughs> um, and this is a nursing bra, by the way. I went online. I've been looking at Refi for ages. This is not a sponsored video. I wish. <laughs> I bought it with my own money. I'm going to let you know what I think of it. I'd open it on camera. I've been really umming and ahhing about this brand, to be honest. I saw it before I was even pregnant. And I was like, should I get it? The eyebrow thing. And I also got lip, the lip kit and the highlighter. So they're the three things I got. Comes in this packaging, I don't know if you can see it. I'll probably look awful in this camera. <laughs> I'm not used to like not wearing makeup on camera. So yeah, I've got the lip collection. I told you how to do it, that's handy. But I'm gonna do my eyebrows first because that's usually the first thing I do when I do my makeup. I just hope I have enough time today. <laughs> And it's clear as well. I didn't get the full eyebrow kit because I just thought to myself, really and truly, like, I don't know. I'm a bit funny with the eyebrow pencils and stuff. Sometimes they're too dark and sometimes they're too light. Anyway, I might do that off camera and then show you it after because I don't want this to be like a, a makeup video, really. But I just thought I'd show you what I got. And I got the darkest one with the refi when it comes to the lip liner. Um, I thought it might be too dark, but I'll try and blend it before setting it and see if that works. And yeah, the highlight is just like, it just looks like you're a bit sweaty. Actually, I like that look in a way. I look like that right now. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm sweaty. It's so hot. It's like 32 degrees at the moment. And when I had my little bubba, Thalia, I thought, oh, that's good. I've missed the heat wave. Oh no, there's a second one. So yeah, I'm on the second heat wave and I hope now, I know people like, like the summer and I like the summer, but I feel like in the UK, we don't have air con, so it's just not comfortable, unless you're by the seaside or something. It's like, oh my God, look how small this is. <laughs> this is the blusher I got. I thought I haven't used blusher for like two years since the pandemic. <laughs> and I used to like that look when I used to do my contour, then I used to put the blusher on. I felt like it made a difference. So I've got some, benefit um blush i've got some eyelashes in case i go out i've got a family thing in a week's time also my partner's taking a week off so it'll be nice to just have a week with him and we'll probably go to restaurants and stuff i want some nice pictures with my bubba as well because whenever i take a photo i'm like i look awful i look so tired so i want some nice pictures for her when she's older you know what i mean and i i love my pictures of me and my mummy so I've got this as well, some Revolution. I went some dark eyeshadow um, and an eyeshadow like that as well so I can do my eyebrows with it. I've got my NC43 Studio Fix powder. I've got them things obviously because I need to top up on my makeup. I haven't been like proper shopping to like somewhere that would sell MAC <laughs> since I've had the baby. Obviously it's been three weeks and that's not been my priority. I'm just like trying to get through day to day. Today is Saturday and I honestly thought today would be Friday. Today me and my partner are going to meet my auntie and my uncle and they're going to meet Thalia for the first time and we're going to go to a restaurant. Um, it's literally just a couple of doors down. <laughs> like, everything's really fresh and healthy, which is very rare. I don't mean to be bad. Um, when it comes to like Chinese cooking in the UK anyway. But it is 32 degrees. They're coming at four. So that gives me time. My partner's had to do some work 
he's constantly working out honestly like i feel like a single mom i look after thalia night and day and i love it i don't complain and i mean i'm alive <laughs> i've like sort of worked out the logistics of like when she's asleep what to do is she, like, I'm trying to like manage it all um it's gonna be like that until she grows out of this newborn stage and she can like finally sleep throughout the night that'll make a big difference I think but then she might be awake more in the day during the time she's asleep a lot I want to get a lot of things done like literally it's been three weeks she has gone through there's 40 nappies in this this thing right she's gone through 120 in three weeks I'm not joking I've got a size two but I've also been bought loads of pampers and in this in this tier <laughs> um it's just full of pampers so i'm sorted with the nappies um for a while i will say though the pampers if anyone's wondering what one's better the pampers have leaked it leaked on my leg on the sofa which was lovely um but these haven't leaked but they don't hold as much poo and stuff in but that's a good thing because it makes you change them often whereas that one like i change her often anyway um, but if you wasn't to and you just thought let me see if it's heavy or not it looks like it can hold a lot but it can't so just be wary of that you're better off having one that holds less and just change them more regularly uh, these are eco nappies cat and kit and cat I can't even say it kit and cat kit and kin oh my god I wasn't even saying it right um, but the other ones aren't and I feel so awful the amount of nappies I use it's mad and I was going to do the thing where you wash them but honestly speaking you're doing quite a lot so it is hard I, I can imagine it being hard to keep washing all the time um so yeah I don't know if she pooed less I would probably do it yeah but this is so lovely and it comes oh it comes with like a little brush scissors what's that oh a comb so yeah and it's got mittens and stuff that's really sweet and little shoes and it comes with all these Winnie the Pooh toys. I put her in for sensory next month. I'm really looking forward to that. And I think it's a good timing. Because to be honest with you, I probably would have done it like pretty much now. But I feel like she's only just now focusing on things. Like she can only just about see me. So I think, I don't know. I don't think now is the right time to be bricking her into sensory. I don't think she'll be that amazed by it at the moment. It reminds me of like PBA glue a little bit. What I want you to do, to be honest with you, I want you to get my eyebrows laminated because I've done it before. Um, but it does pull my eye eyebrows out. That's the only thing, <laughs> which is quite a big thing. And I end up with like hardly any eyebrows and I don't really want that look. So I just thought to myself, let me try this. And if this works, great. Then I won't have to laminate my eyebrows anymore. I don't really like it when it's like properly pushed up that makes sense like you know your eyebrows like properly up i just like them to be styled and to be as thick as possible <laughs> i always use my anastasia beverly hills to like sculpt them and to be honest with you i'll probably end up still using my rimmel but at least they will stay where they are because i usually style them with this but it doesn't last very long um it's wonderful brow by rimmel and it's dark brown and it's actually quite good it's like 6.99 as i say though this won't be a makeup video if you want a makeup video let me know um, but I'm gonna do my makeup and speak to you once it's done. So I've done my makeup now, um, well most of it anyway. I haven't done my eyelashes. I still look like I've got bags, <laughs> no matter what though. Um, and my hair's not been brushed at all. <laughs> um, but yeah, so this is my lip sculpt. I was, oh, okay. I was gonna say, I thought it had two ends, it does. Um, so this end is the lip liner i am just lightly putting it on though i'm not like overly doing it although it does look a bit dark on camera but i'm just gonna this is what i usually do because there's a setter and once it sets it sets so i don't actually want it to look like a line on my lips you know what i mean like the lip liner i'm really looking forward to seeing how long this sets for as well i've seen a lot of tutorials online I really would rub it in like I wouldn't just leave it and put a line and then set it but it's obviously up to you oh it's a bit awkward <laughs> so this is a setter to be honest with you I even like it like this 
without even putting a lip gloss on. It's like subtle, but it does the job. You know what I mean? Love that, love that. I am gonna, I mean, I'll let that set for a bit and I'm gonna put the, this feels really light. I didn't even think there was anything in it. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put the gloss lighter on because yeah put the gloss lighter on see what that is like and then by that time hopefully this would have set i'm guessing you can just use it straight away you probably can but i'm just being extra oh i thought this was gonna be clear i don't know why but it's actually i never got the wrong one it's actually like um what's it, what's it called it's like gold maybe it's all gold Mmm, I like it. Sorry, I haven't worn makeup for so long. That I'm just like so amazed by everything. You have to, like, as all mums, like honestly, you have to like take care of yourself as well. I reckon the lip gloss won't stay on because lip gloss never does. But I feel like with the lips, I feel like like it wouldn't. I don't feel like it looks like I've done my lips if that makes sense like I don't feel like you know like if you're on a date with a guy and you don't want to like you've done too much makeup I feel like this is the lip combo for it if you have darker skin tone they have lighter ones as well um so this is the lip gloss let's see oh I do like it I've got to say and it looks natural, like in a weird way. It looks like I've just put Vaseline on my lips. And it's staying there. Got another channel, Grace Anastasia. Um, so you'll see I do usually wear quite a lot of makeup. And honestly, this lip combo, I, I don't know where it's been all my life. So for yes for me, like it's week three. And I don't know about you guys, but I've actually really enjoyed my own company, obviously with my baby. But I know a lot of people get a lot of help in and stuff like that. But I prefer it when it's just me and my bubba. I don't obviously mind my partner being there as well. I feel like if I'm around people too much, I think it's from being an only child. I've always been like this. But I'd see my friends a lot. And then I just need some me time. I can't be around people 24-7. I know people that have the in-laws around two weeks straight after the baby's born. Like for me, no shade. I couldn't think of anything worse. And God bless my mum, even if she was alive. I don't know if I'd want her around 24-7, but she's homely to me. I think everyone's parents are like home. It's like being on your own, the equivalent. Because even when I was like an only child at home, when I was with my parents, I felt like I was alone. It didn't feel like, oh, they're around me, they're annoying me or anything like that. Because they're similar to you, they're really similar to you. And obviously my partner, we like doing the same things. There's no like need to entertain people. When people are there, I can't have a nap. I have to engage in conversation, which obviously I enjoy, but I can't do that every day. And not only like it's tiring, like I've got so many things I want to get done and so many things I want to do that require creativity and mindfulness and I really want to get into my mindfulness again because I've lost that completely over the last nine months. I've become so, not negative, but pessimistic and yeah, I'm usually quite optimistic and very driven, but the last nine months, honestly, I haven't been, I will admit that. But I feel like it's coming back again. Like it's only been three weeks, but now I'm thinking, right, when I'm breastfeeding, because my bubba should just close her eyes, breastfeed, sometimes for 20 minutes. I could be doing something on my laptop. So that's what I plan to do from next week. Um, I'm just gonna try and have my laptop on the sofa. So when I breastfeed, I can edit a video or I can do something. Cause it sounds awful. I'm just sitting there and I'm, I'm in awe of her. Honestly, Thalia, she eats like, when she wakes up, she eats all the time. Like she's constantly eating. She's a bit chubby now, it's so cute. Um, so that's great, but because she's constantly and I see her constantly and I could be doing things um, And it will help her future and our future. So yeah, it's all for goodness And obviously I'm there. <laughs> it's not that like I'm leaving her anywhere um, But yeah, I'm gonna show you some things and tips and tricks like on how to manage your time when you've got a newborn because I feel like It's only been three weeks, but I feel 
good like if you see me i don't look mad tired <laughs> my eyes i think my eyes have always just been permanently baggy like i can remember this from school i just always had bags under my eyes but obviously when i'm tired they're a bit worse i'm really looking forward to everything to do with her growing up she's gonna change so much and like yeah, every day I get to see it. I'm so lucky. I was coming back from work now. I had like my only client, so I had to go and sort things out in the morning and come back. And then now, when he gets back, I'm gonna try and get some things done while he's here. Or maybe I might do some hoovering now. Honestly, I hoover every day. <laughs> Hoovering's good cardio, so it's fine. I really need to brush my hair and straighten it. <laughs> it's an absolute mess. I'd love to hear like stories from you, like what you experienced when you had your newborn, like whether you had people around you, if you struggled or if you found it amazing. I always hear stories about people struggling. Like I'd rarely hear stories about people saying, oh, it's great, like it's amazing. Like for me, I usually go to work every day, but now I'm not working, so this is my job almost. So I don't feel like, oh my god, I'm exhausted because to be honest with you, I had insomnia before I was pregnant, during pregnancy, I was always awake with my cat all the time, she scratches on the door, she comes in and out, like I've always had disturbed sleep, I don't think I've ever slept well, <laughs> so for me, it's quite normal, there was only one day where I had like two hours sleep because she just stayed up the whole night because it was so hot, and that day I was really tired. I don't recommend going the day with two hours sleep. I know I've gone to work with two hours sleep before, but on a Monday, I don't know what it is about Mondays when I used to go to work, I used to always feel like I couldn't sleep and feel extra tired. I'm just not used to having a restricted time on when I can do things, if that makes sense. I have to do things when she's asleep and then there's no, no saying when she's gonna wake up. Could be actually a good thing, so I'm doing things a lot faster. <laughs> I'm trying to prioritize as well, what can I do while she's awake with me? Because I have that carrier godsend. Get one if you, you haven't. She just likes to be near my heart, and she sleeps with me, doesn't batter an eyelid. So I would recommend that if you're struggling to get things done in the day, because I've only started using that like the last few days, to be honest. Um, and it's amazing going out with it as well because especially in this heat i don't want to be carrying the pram downstairs on my own so having the carrier you know i could go on but there's so many things that, that you can try and do to manage your time but maybe i'll do a whole video just solely on that i'm sure there's other things as well you can do to try and like manage your time and i feel like it's important to have some new time like as i say like me doing my makeup today i want to take some pictures i have not taken hardly any pictures of my bubba and me, or my partner has in anyway, <laughs> and any picture he does take, I look awful. And he never likes pictures of him, so I said today, I've got one of them disposable cameras, because I love them. I think they're really cool, you develop them, and it's very rare now, you have like a physical photo, and most of them are on your phone, and you forget to print them out, and then I don't want her to be looking at a phone to be looking at her pictures, so her grandmother made her a little book, a bit similar to mine, because I wanted a material book and so we're gonna put all her photos in there and then she can look back at the time and yeah it'll be lovely just like how i had it and i i love looking at my old photos so i'm sure she'll be the same so yeah we're gonna try and take the photo today she's got a little denim dress there's always like bows that come with these things but they never fit her head it's always a bit too big but it's so cute so yeah she's gonna wear that today and then we'll dress up and as as well like we've got a day to ourselves and my partner can actually help me today i'm gonna try and organize this room a bit better because it is a mess it's hard to do everything in one day especially when you've got a newborn baby so i've been doing a little bit by little bit every day and i'm trying to edit as well and make sure i have content for you all so that is another challenge in itself um i look like i'm naked right now <laughs> But yeah, so I've tidied the kitchen and the bathroom now. I don't know, a lot of it is presents and like, you no, know, I've got so many, it's a girl. Like, you know, them bags. I don't know what to do with them. I feel like I should give them to people that, I don't know. It's just a waste to throw it away. I've got so much recycling that I haven't put in the recycling. So once that's all gone, it will make a big difference. But I hate being wasteful, I really do. I wish I could just tell everyone, like, come and collect. <laughs> it's a baby girl, like, it's from somewhere, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I've got so many of them bags. People have been so generous. We don't even have to buy any clothes now because we've got so many clothes. 
for her only the winter like i said to my aunt she's coming today she was like what do you want i was like the only thing we need is winter clothes because we literally have everything else so as well i'll show you some other things we got which i really love so this is from the all white company i got a blanket for thalia from the all white company as well it's a white one before i knew i was having a little girl and we got a pink one it's so cute and i love the detail here the all white company has really good blankets if anyone wants to know they're pretty reasonably priced as well so i need to wash this and she can start using it but you can never have too many blankets we have three now and i think three is enough <laughs> um but if they fall on the floor or yeah you get sick on them you can just have another one ready because I think having one wouldn't be enough anyway. I love little soft toys. I think this is so cute and it'll be in her cot. So thank you. This as well, it's got little butterflies on them. I don't know if you can see it. And that's lovely as well. It's actually good for this weather because it's like shorts. Um, but yeah, I'm going to put that on her probably from next week. Honestly, she's getting so big. So she'll start fitting in that and I can wash all this. All her pink stuff she's got so many pink things now and i used to be like oh i don't want my baby wearing pink stuff but actually yeah <laughs> i do i think most of the stuff is pink that is good anyway she's got a lot of florally stuff and yellow items so sorry <laughs> this is the next thing that i absolutely love as well like i've got loads of clothes and everything but we'll be here all day showing you the clothes but this was from one of my partner's friends actually um from a couple so it was very sweet of them and it's Neil Jard. I absolutely love Neil Jard. I use that on my belly during my pregnancy as well. This mother's balm, if anyone wanting to know. It's got mother's bath oil, mother's massage oil, an organic pure baby oil, and bath and shampoo, and organic balm, which I'm all about organic. So they don't know me well, but they know me well because <laughs> this is the sort of thing I would want. And this as well which is so lovely of them honestly and i'm using the mother's balm on my belly even now so hopefully it will reduce me getting stretch marks because i didn't have it throughout my whole pregnancy any stretch marks but my partner pointed out the other day i was like thanks <laughs> i've got these two little ones at the bottom of my belly maybe it's because my belly shrunk quite quickly i don't know but yeah, so I'm going to put that on because I spoke to the lady in there when I bought that one. Said her friend used it after the birth and it really helped get rid of the stretch marks. So hopefully it does the same for me. And I think naturally they disappear anyway after a while, like after like six months or so. Don't quote me on it, but I think they do. Um, but yeah, we got some amazing presents, like honestly. And my aunt's going to give me more presents today. We still got more people to see. It's amazing and it's so lovely that people are like giving us that money gifts. I've still got my bull, which I said I was going to get rid of because that is not, it's not the same bull, but a bull like that is what I gave birth on and it was traumatic. But I need to do my pelvic floor exercises from next week. I think by then I should feel a bit better down there and I can start doing it. Um, so I do really want to start doing exercise. Um, as I say, I'm really happy with my weight loss, but it's just more to do with like i'm losing weight i don't think from exercise because i'm not doing any so it's just from eating well really because obviously i'm breastfeeding i want to give my bubba the best food i try and be as good as possible anyway i'm definitely going to do a video though on how i lost the weight because i feel like that's something people might struggle with um but i think i'm going to do it as in speaking from when i was pregnant because I feel like the lifestyle I had when I was pregnant was easy to transition once I was out of pregnancy, if that makes sense. Because if I just ate what I wanted in pregnancy, I think then I would struggle now because I know for a fact from the past, if I eat badly, it's like an addiction. It makes you want to eat badly, like continue eating badly. Whereas if you just eat well, you will want to continue to eat well, if that makes sense. But I'll tell you what I've eaten, tell you what I've been doing. Um, what I believe is why I've lost weight so yeah watch out for that video I'll post that in the next video so please subscribe and yeah I'll see you in my next one